Good evening and welcome to Thursday's edition of the Regional News. We begin with news from Trinidad and Tobago. 24 pharmacies are under police probe for selling unregistered, fake or expired drugs. This disclosure was made by Chief Medical Officer Dr. Roshan Parshram as he responded to a question from a committee member, Dr. Lakram, on Wednesday at a Public Administration and Appropriation Committee meeting. The committee was also told that a popular diet and diabetic drug was not registered for use in Trinidad and Tobago. He said 23 drugs were currently awaiting registration. Parshram said that over the period February 2023 to April 2024, the Ministry of Health inspected 280 pharmacies and found 45 pharmacies at either unregistered or expired products, which were seized and 24 of these pharmacies had been referred to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Parsham said under 20,000 drugs were registered for use in the country. We now bring you news from Belize. The International Monetary Fund IMF Executive Board has outlined Belize's key policy objectives, emphasizing the reduction of public debt to 50% of gross domestic product, GDP, by 2030. The Washington-based financial institution said the Caribbean community, CARICOM, country intends to achieve this by raising the primary fiscal balance to 2% of GDP from the financial year 2025 onwards. It also intends to increase priority spending on infrastructure, targeted social programs, and crime prevention, finance with additional revenues and expenditure, as well as implementing structural reforms to boost growth and make it more exclusive and resilient to natural disasters, and remaining vigilant to financial stability risks. And now for some international news. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin condemned what they cast as increasingly aggressive U.S. behavior on Wednesday and pledged to deepen their country's already close defense and military ties. A joint statement spoke to concerns about what were described as U.S. efforts to violate the strategic nuclear balance about global U.S. missiles, defense that threatened Russia and China, and about U.S. plans for high-precision non-nuclear weapons. Chi said both sides agreed to a political settlement to the Ukraine crisis was the right direction, and the joint statement said both countries were opposed to a drawn-out conflict in Ukraine and its possible transition to an uncontrollable phase. I am Carice Gonzalez. Thank you for watching.